are we 100! doing first? 100! What are we doing first? 100 little web gooches. Ah. <laughs> I thought you said PlayStation. <laughs> Where's the controller? I'm dead. Okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to another MCU review. So I am joined by Logan Wilson. Joe Morgan. That was really basic one. I didn't like that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll do better next time. <laughs> but today we're gonna to talk about Ant Man and the Wasp. So I really yeah. I really I didn't have my I enjoyed this one so much. I didn't have my morning class this morning, so I just watched this like right as I got up. Dude, it was fun. Yeah. I love no, this. I love this one, dude. Uh, this one's fun. So where to begin? Do we want to start with bad? Because there's an yeah, overwhelming there amount is, of good. Yeah, there's some bad though. Yeah, there is some bad. Uh, they kind of bring the movie down more for me. The villain isn't bad. Ghost, really, Ghost is okay. Yeah, really with this one, you're, you're not really getting a main villain. You kind of have three overarching forces, which is um, Ghost, Birch, Birch, and, and then the FBI. FBI. And it all kind of comes together. And to woo. Just, yeah, it, it all comes to come to, kind of comes together to be like one big conflict. Yeah, I was like, if you don't like, woo, I might hit you. No, with this bad. Bad. Those three forces kind of just become like an obstacle in their goal to bring back Janet, uh, which, which that's is, a good goal. It's which, basically, right. They set it up and in I, the first and I one. I think it's I think it's done really well. Mm -hmm. there's, there's really no villain villain. Go, yeah. It's just people in the way of Ghost the is the I'm really sure. Ghost is the really evil one that like yes. is is about to like kidnap Cassie. She, she's the only one well no, I can't say that. I was gonna say she's the only one with like a really like evil motive, but the other guy is like because, and then Woo's stuff. the Woo's the funny one, Birch is just the annoying one. I don't like Birch as much. Birch is my least favorite part about this movie. He I is, I love Walter Goggins. I love yeah, Walter Goggins. I love he's, not he's, bad. Not he's not great, but he's not bad. He's like he's one of the he's the main part of one of the better scenes of the movie, which is when you see Percy Wasp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really The cool. Wasp suit is really cool. It's very cool. The combat yeah. in this movie is so cool. Yeah, it's really and they creative. somehow made it better. It, it's better than the first one. Yeah, because you got the two of them fighting together a lot. It's yeah, really I think cool. combat-wise, this movie is... Which, they don't fight together a whole lot, but they yeah. do at the very end against Ghost. They do a little bit in the first scene. Mm -hmm. um, and but that's when Ant-Man kind of shows up late. Right. But, but then that last especially, scene, yeah. especially... With Wasp, you can see just how much she's trained for it. Yeah. And I love like, Hank's explanation for why she has so many gadgets. So I take it you didn't have any of that. Take a bit for me. You know I did. The the first the first like the one of the scenes that you can see it is when it's that car it's the car chase, which is also a really good scene. And they mm -hmm. she's flip she she goes into the back. She she yes. she bullets she's through like, the back. She yes. sits and she sits in between them and shrinks. They punch they each punch other. And she, yes. she shrinks. Grows, flips out yep. the car, kicks through the window, and then yeah, she's in. very much done that before. Yeah, she's very. Evangeline very Lily can punch me in the face, and I'd say sorry. Valid, and they I would tell her I was sorry. Valid. Sp speaking of her, her performance as Hope slash Wasp is great, and they All fix the her hair. It was good yeah. in the first one. There was just the hair. Her hair was Lego. Goose. The, the hair is the big thing. Her acting is like very hair. good. Her acting is always. Oh, she's yeah, in my favorite good. show ever, Lost. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's right. She's that's where she got well known. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That was kind of her. And then thing. Hobbit. <laughs> that too. Um, yeah, no, I think all the performances in this movie were really good. Paul Rudd is Scott Lang. His Paul Rudd is still great. one of the best. Um, His suit is a lot better than the first one. Cool. And the first suit was good. This one is just a lot more. It's similar to the it Civil War suit. Though. It doesn't function. It's <laughs> Iron Man 3 again with the suit barely working. I think wow. a part of me likes Hank in this movie a little more than the first one. Yeah. Because you, he has so much more of a story of like wanting to get Janet back. And seeing Janet Van Dyne in this movie. In the first movie, he's just more sassy grandpa. Yeah, sassy grandpa. And in this movie, he's like... Man, I really sure. like the relationship that him and Scott have. I agree. The entire I think, yeah. Because like it's like a hey we're building trust, yeah. but at the same time I don't really trust you all that right. much. Right. I also love the relationship between Scott and uh, Hope. Hope. That's a, that's great. Mm -hmm. Scott and his daughter are they're so fun to watch. Cassie's together. great. I'm, that's the one thing I'm gonna miss about future uh, Ant Man mm -hmm. media is the fact that she's like old now and she's not like a little child. Because that dynamic miss, was so fun. I'm gonna miss that, but I also have a big problem with what Paul they Rudd's do. Paul Rudd's probably great with kids. 
Yeah. I also have a bit of a bigger problem with later on with the fact that they recast the actress they had in Endgame, which we'll probably touch on that more. Oh, did they really? Movie, but yeah, they did. I, I think the child actor playing Cassie is so fun. Their relationship is great. Um, I like her a little bit more in this than I do the first one. Well, because she's not she's, as person as much. She's way yeah. more relevant in this one. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I mean, that scene at the beginning with them, like, Dude, doing that, a heist. Dude, I want to do that. With them, like, yeah, like, doing a heist. Do that's so and then you see that Luis is helping them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's the fuzz. <laughs> that got me. <laughs> it's the fuzz. It's the fuzz. How, do you, how do you know that? How do you know that? Or she goes, we got to escape the popo or whatever. Yeah, she's just popo. Po that's what he says. Popo. Po how do you know about that? Uh, no, it's great. I love all of the, like, dynamics in this movie. Yeah. Um, and I agree that a downside of this film is What's-His-Face? Birch. Yeah, Birch. I don't hate him. I don't hate him. I do. Why do you hate him? He just constantly, like, he served little to no point throughout this he movie. He looks so familiar. What has he been in? Um. I'll give it this. The so actor familiar. did a great job. He was in Tomb character. Raider. The new Tomb Raider with... Yeah. Uh, is he a villain? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Maybe that's He's it. been in so much stuff. I can't think Probably. of the time I heard it. He was in um, one of the Predator. He was in one of the Predator movies. He, yeah, yeah. He's been, he's, a, been, he's, been a, he's a very, very good actor. He's a good actor. Yeah, but um, good job I the really, love, I just hate the character. Yeah, I didn't really like him all that much. Uh, but it's not like too bad. Yeah, I, I love. Don't, I don't hate. I him. love the scene of um, him and his like goons, and they're like giving Luis the truth serum. That's that so I, I forgot about the truth serum. That's right. one of the that's that's one of the scenes that makes me not and hate then, it because his end, entire band is really funny. Yes, and then at the end where he gives them the truth serum, it's it's so funny. It is truth serum. It is truth serum. <laughs> oh, what's his name? Um, yeah, I can't think of his name either. I feel like I know who you're trying to talk about. <coughs> Because my brain's going there too. Um, Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, yeah Lawrence. <laughs> I was literally just about to say Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> whenever I was, uh, I was whenever I was, th I was thinking, about, wait, say that again. He was the superhero. He was the superhero Goliath. Who he sent Black, Black Goliath. That's yeah. the biggest one of his. I think that's his name. What? <sighs> Cliff? No, not Cliff. Is that right? No. Bill. Bit. Is it Bill? Bill Foster. I don't remember. Look, <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne. Bill Foster's a United States representative. Do it. No, I say he's a Bill. That's also his name, but he's also a U.S. representative, like in like real life, like it's an actual person's name. But yeah, he was known as Black Goliath, Giant Man, and Goliath. And it's Lawrence Fishburne. Interesting. Right. Okay. But I, I thought I thought he was a solid character. Uh -huh. um, I like the dynamic between him and. Uh, What's the what's the girl's name? I just ghost. What's her name? Uh oh. Starts with an S. Her last name is Star. No. Ava. 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 That little... Because <laughs> they, when they say her when they say her dad's name, her dad's name is Elias. And yeah. so when they said that, I thought they were like her dad was a superhero named Star. Because they say Elias Star, and I'm like, what? Bruh. <laughs> what? No, but. She, I like how he's not a bad guy. He yeah. he wants to do the right thing, and whenever she right. men, whenever she mentions Cassie, he goes, yeah. "Don't you dare!" Yeah, I better not do that. I won't have any part in that. Lawrence Fish. I love Lord, literally anything Lawrence Fishburne is in. Sign me up. Yeah. Matrix. Sign me up. Man of Steel. Sign me up. Ma <laughs> disagree. The movie's not good. Mm, agree to disagree. <laughs> the movie's not good. It's not horrible. It's not good. Agree to disagree. All the like <laughs> the way they um incorporate all the like Pym Tech shrinky stuff throughout this movie is so cool. There's yeah. even more shrinky stuff. Even the more hot wheels stuff. Dude, that's the, so yes. funny. I love that. It's like an actual like carrier case for yes. Hot Wheels cars. And I guarantee like, cars. I'm like they didn't have to CGI those things. Those They're just, just Hot Wheels cars. But, no, there was probably just a crew of people like, you know, painting Hot Wheels cars and designing them to look like the actual yeah, car, like an actual car, dude. It's, <laughs> and and cool. every single one of them has one of those switches in it. Yeah. Really uh, another thing, since we haven't really talked about him that much, my favorite part of the, about this movie is Agent Wu. Yeah, he is he my is so favorite part about this movie. He is, he's great. Uh, the scene where he's like trying to learn the car trick. That where he's lecturing to Cassie about the well, well, your daddy went to Germany and drew all over the walls of Captain America. <laughs> that little like rant he goes on, I laughed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then towards the end, or well, no, he says at the very end, he's like, and, and any other related statutes, okay, sweetie. 
Like that <laughs> is I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about the end of the movie where yeah, he's, where he's like, trying to win the card trick or whatever. Well, that, and then also when he... The throw up. I like the throw up. Like, Daddy threw up a yeah. lot. Is it a lot? <laughs> like, is it a oh. lot? Yeah. No, I love his character. He was so fun. No, yeah. and I also just love his actor because he was in The Office yes. for that one episode where, yes. like, everyone convinced... He can, they convinced Dwight that he was Jim. <laughs> yeah, I love him. He's yeah. Cool. My favorite part of this movie is probably... It's the same thing as my... the Like, my... My favorite part of the first one is Hank. I love... Yeah. I love Michael Douglas. I yeah. adore Michael Douglas. It's it's really cool to see Hank Pym interact interact with Scott mostly. Yeah. And, then his and to see him reunite him. with Janet Van Dyne, who was played by Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. Yep. Yeah. Great casting. Yeah, cool. And um, I'm excited to see her. I, she's back. Really, she would be one of the main characters of Quantum Yeah, yeah cool. probably. I'm really interested to see how they develop and, like, not really develop. That. Explain her powers because they never do. They never do. And, yeah, I, and, and I looked it up, and I looked it up, and then it's like I looked it up, and I said, "What are Hope Van Dyne's powers?" And it goes shrinking with the suit and unknown quantum like like because yeah, unknown c- quantum c- realm c- powers. Quantum stuff. Yeah, because like, she just, she heals ghosts in she t- ten seconds. Yeah. Or out of nowhere. Yeah. Temporarily. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm interested to see them explain that, and I don't think it's a bad part of this movie that they don't. Because it's no, it makes like sense movie. because like. Cause, explain right, the quantum realm. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. And it, it gives you something to look forward to for the next one. Which, which I think it, is really in funny. A way, that Scott it, says, "Do y'all put quantum in front of everything?" everything. <laughs> yes. In a way, it honestly does still kind of make sense for that universe because, like, look how long she's been in there. Right. It was like twenty two, something, something like that. Yeah. My Woman. favorite part of this movie, and one of my favorite parts in all of Marvel, that um, me and my dad still reference to this day, is is when. <laughs> Is when Scott has shrunk it down to the size of like a six year old. And he yes. gets back in the van and he goes, Well, champ, how's your day at school? How's your first day at school? Do you, you, you want a juice box and juice box of string cheese? Do you have that? Yeah, do you actually have those? Do you actually have those? Yes. That is um, that is one of my favorite scenes. No, he like of crawls up to the seat too. He it's like, so yeah, he funny. Oh, it's you know what, so you or no, when, when, he, when he shrinks again and he's like, Awesome. And then Boss goes, if only Cap could see you now. Yeah, if only Cap could see you now. No, we were I saying the whole thing it. earlier with him calling him Cap. He's like, oh, he's yeah. my friend. And then, and then another, so they call him. Yeah, so they call him. And then another slight callback to that in uh, Endgame. Speaking of tying with Endgame, the post credit scene, the first one, where... It's scary. It's really scary because because Scott gets goes into the quantum realm to get more quantum energy for Ghost. And he's about to come out, and then Hope, Hank, and Janet get... Snapped, yeah. and then you realize snapped. it's like, and he's tracking them, and then you realize, oh wait, it probably didn't feel like that long to him. Yeah, because uh, which like how long did it they, feel to Janet? That she that's was down right, there? that's another thing that really kind of that's a good question because they they do mention that she in ages. this movie they say they, I think they say a few times they say things don't things work differently in the quadrant. Which if time works differently which, in the like, quadrant. Yeah, Scott says he didn't feel like he didn't feel like he was down there that long. He said he was he felt like he was gone. He says an hour, I think five yeah. hours. He said something like that. Yeah, he says, but like he was trapped for five years. So wait, okay. An hour to him was a year in the real world. So she was down there for what felt like to her a day. It was twenty-two years, twenty-two hours. But she aged twenty-two years. That's it. Um, yeah, that that's it's a interesting. little interesting. Yeah, it's a little confusing. That is interesting. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Didn't think about that, it like that. <laughs> yeah, that's, hmm. that's always something that's kind of sat wrong with me, is seeing how it is in Endgame. We're but, just but gonna once go, once again, we're just quantum realm go shenanigans. Quantum BS. <laughs> it's a good way of looking at it. Quantum BS. Who knows what kind of stuff Some goes on in the quantum realm. garbage, man. So, oh. but, and then the second post credits scene is just the hand playing drums. Yeah, so it, I didn't watch the second one. Was that what it was? It, yeah, just, it was just an, an ant playing, playing that go. that uh, guitar hero. The, the first one's really the only one that matters. Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else to really talk about with this one. Nope. So I think we can get to our overall scores. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I think just like any other Ant Man or the other Ant Man movie, it's a lot of fun. I do definitely prefer the first Ant Man vastly more. And there were just, there were a couple things here and there that just made me not enjoy this as much as the first one. But nothing that's saying, like, this is a bad movie. Because this is still a really good movie that I will happily rewatch again. But, I don't know. I, just some characters here and there, just some parts. Maybe not the most interesting villain. Um, 
just the villain I think is just kind of all right. And I think on the whole, I might have to give this movie... It's tricky. I'm stuck. It's... You got your bonker ready? I'm torn. Because I, I know the range I want to go. I'll go... Uh, 7.5. Hmm. It's too low. Mm, I agree. It's okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. That's not. It's, it's at least it's not below a seven. Yeah, below. I was a gonna seven. like consider actually hitting you if you get yeah. anything below a seven. No, it was never going to be. Below okay, a seven. what was the other range? It was. It was going to be like someone like seven point seven range. Okay, and like the higher up seven. That was really. It wasn't going to okay. go any lower than seven point five. Okay. But again, there, there's nothing. There's nothing wholeheartedly bad about the movie. It's just. Parts of it I just don't have as much fun with compare even comparing it to other movies. What did I give it, man? First one. Eight. I think both of you were in eight. I think points. I gave it like an eight seven or something like and, that. And and Jonah, you lined up exactly. Eight like seven. That. Yeah. So yeah. that that makes sense for what I was gonna give this. I enjoy it not as much as the first one, but not vastly less than the first one. I still re very much enjoy yeah. this movie. This movie does some stuff, including action, better than the first one. Yes. Yeah, so I agree with that. It does it does comedy differently. But I think it's more enjoyable in my opinion. I I respect it. I would say it's it's it can be more enjoyable, but I wouldn't say it's better. But it's not vastly worse. Yeah, I, it's more the, my type. It follows an Ant Man formula where all the, the comedy is so much fun. The number I if I give the other one an eight seven, I, I came into this thinking eight three is what I was going to give it. That's and I'm going to stick with that. That's what I went into it. No, that's what I like. Going into watching it, I was like eight, maybe a little bit That's lower. I but I I hadn't watched it in a while, and and then towards the middle, I'm like, okay, at least an eight, yeah. at the very least. An eight. So, I'm done. I'm done. Um, <laughs> so I, I I really enjoy this movie. This is mm -hmm. um I almost like this more. Um, I just um I'm a sucker for like uh for having an actual villain in a movie. This movie didn't really have that. Yeah. It was just kind of like a bunch of forces that were obstacles in the way of a the thing. The next one doesn't either. Does it not? It's Marvel. Not really. Oh. There's an overarching it's thing, but there's something. not one person. Right. Um, I think this is really enjoyable, though. I think this is kind of a different feeling movie. I agree with that. That's what I was going to say. It feels a little different than your usual MC, MCU standalone. It's a really good change of pace compared to what we just dealt with. Because Man Man 1, there's a, there's a one-person like villain. There's a, de right. there's a definitive right. villain. But I really enjoy this. I think the comedy, It's I like it more than the first it's one. Hitting. It's really, it really hits. enjoyable. Um, I think all the acting's great. All the characters are pretty enjoyable for the most part. Um, I really like this movie. I was sitting about an 8, 8.2 range before coming in. I really enjoyed this movie. I'm going to give it an 8.4. That's, yeah. Before, <laughs> before we move on, I want to change my score. You cut when it's right. <laughs> <laughs> You're changing your score? I want to bump it up to a 7.9. Hey, I'll take it. Okay. I'll think, take it. Thinking on it, thinking on a little bit more. Yeah, You're I think sure. I, I'm just like, even with the part that I don't enjoy, I look back on it and I'm just like, there's a lot I enjoy about it, so I'm gonna you really change someone's mind when you're sitting mine with two baseball bats. Well, that, but also, <laughs> but think on it more. It's like aside from the one character and not as interesting enough of a villain. It's like any like the other Ant Man movie. It's it's fun. Yeah, that is going to do it for our review of Ant Man and the Wasp. Stay tuned for next time where we do an interest an interesting movie where we do Captain Marvel. Yay! Yay. I like this one too. It's okay. This is funny. Usually I'm the one more critical about things, but I really like these. But thank y'all for watching. And really quick before ending it, yes. I have a bad habit of dating my videos before they even go up. Because Infinity War, I said I was at 96 subs. And at the time of this recording, that video hasn't gone up yet. But I'm now at 100. So the current plan for doing an Armored Adventures, because I don't think... You said you haven't seen any of it yet. I don't think you have any. No, no. I'll see if I have time to watch it. Y'all might have to do it without me, but I'll see if I have time. Because yeah, my the, classes are starting to get into the, the schmeet. The current Shmeet. plan is to do Armin Adventures, record it next Friday. There's a good chance it'll end up going up in between Endgame and Black Widow. Mm. So Black Widow. Yeah. There's a good chance that's when that will end up going up. So don't expect it for a little bit, but... It'll still happen, don't worry. But thank you all for watching. Thank you all so much again for 100 subscribers, and I'll see you all next. And we will see you guys next time. Later, webheads.